In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down this crazy digital watch warp effect, and I'm gonna teach you how you can do it. I gotta say, there is nothing quite like waking up in 2019, watching a Night of Music video, or a Pierre Bourne music video, or a Cash Dami music video. Like, that was the best time, tell me not. If you guys have been in the game, you know that that was a crazy era. That's kind of the era that got me heavily into music videos. And this is kind of that kind of 2019 Night of-esque effect that I love. And I'm really happy to break down this kind of effect, so let's get this shit. So I'm recreating this little thing where Pierre's doing this. I don't have a watch to simulate a watch basically in this clip i am using two little bracelets i'm going to make the illusion that i do have a watch so step one you're going to go ahead and just roto brush that watch or bracelet in my case and once you get that roto brushed out just like this we're going to go ahead and duplicate that layer the top layer and on this middle layer go ahead and pre-compose that layer. So you have your background layer and then two of this layer. You're going to add this effect called echo right there. Put the decay to about 0.8, the number of echoes to eight as well. And you're gonna have something that looks like this. Now on this top watch layer, I'm going to add on deep glow. And I'm also going to drag on the built-in exposure increase the exposure just slightly. I just want it to be bright, kind of like how it is in the Fed's Pierre Bourne music video. And now it sort of more so looks like a watch right there. Of course, you can use the built-in glow or you can use sapphire glow, but you know, everybody knows deep glow is the best. And as always, it's gonna be way easier for you to edit this if you render in quarter resolution. You just go right here, click on quarter instead of full, especially when you're working with echo because it is render heavy on your GPU. Next, this is where the fun begins. Next, you're gonna add on turbulent displace on the echo layer and already it's looking a lot crazier i just brought the amount up to 117 and this is what it looks like and then now finally we're going to add on this effect called mosaic and all of these effects by the way are built into after effects so no need to worry about purchasing anything except for deep glow which is in my opinion the best glow which does cost you a little bit of money so we're going to go ahead and increase the horizontal blocks and vertical blocks and voila it's going to give you that kind of pierre born fez look that you're looking for and something around 100 seems to suffice for both the horizontal and vertical. You could always make it smaller or bigger if you'd like. Add on tritone, add it on the top layer, and then right where it says midtones, select that. And I'm gonna give it that same kind of purple look in the feds video, something like that. And at highlights, I'm going to make it a light purple like that go ahead and drag on tritone to the echo layer make it that kind of purple and then go ahead and pre-compose the echo layer and the top watch layer with Control shift c click ok it's going to put them into one layer you're going to add on one more deep glow to tie the two layers together a bit and then add an extra deep glow on your background layer now this is where you're going to go ahead and add a lumetri color to the background layer and increase the contrast, decrease the shadows, just to make it a little bit darker to match the watch, recompose both layers, bring them all together, and then add another Lumetri color to tie everything together. Increase the contrast again, decrease the shadows, increase highlights, play with the whites, play with the blacks. That's racist. And then you can mess with the tint a little bit like that. If you bring it up in the positive, it's actually gonna make it look a little bit more pink and purple, which is kind of perfect for this clip. And finally, I'm going to drag on this plugin called RSMB, which is Real Smart Motion Blur. It adds on a really good natural blur that brings all of the layers together. Yeah, it's going to make everything look really good. And then finally, once I add some more glows, flickers, motion to it, you're going to have something that looks like this. If you guys mess with this kind of content, which I know you do, <laughs> check out the Shockwave Distortion Pack. It's got the craziest overlays, drag and drop it into your clips, make your music videos look saucy. It's probably the best thing out that's ever been made ever. It's 30% off right now. And if you add discount code SHOCK, you get an extra 10% off. That's absolutely crazy. And the value is ridiculous because I spent months and months creating this product for you guys. And it's got 60 overlays in there. And it's only $34.99 before the 10% off. And if you guys want me to break down anything specific, leave a comment down below or hit me in the DMs or join my Discord. I love to interact with you guys. I love answering questions. And then if you join the discord you can interact with different clients directors editors and it's overall just a really great and kind of dope as way to interact with the community bruh
Now get the fuck out of here and go edit some videos, bro.